there is a very easy way in DaVinci Resolve to get your footage to go from this to this without having an extensive background in color grading. I'm gonna show you a few ways to do this. Two of these ways are going to involve just pressing one button. If you're shooting in a log format, something that's flat, and you just wanna add contrast, a little bit of saturation, and even if you wanna manipulate the look, I will show you that as well. Let's get into the first way, which is the auto color correct in DaVinci Resolve. So you have your footage in your timeline, go to the color page. From the color page, you want to click on the primary color wheels. And where it says primary color wheels, right underneath that, you'll see an eyedropper tool. To the left of the eyedropper tool is the letter A in a circle. Press that and that does a auto color correct with your footage. Is it perfect? No. But providing that you've exposed properly in camera and your white balance is proper in camera, it usually does the job. If I take this footage from the DJI, this is in D-Log M, this is how it looks out of camera, and this is what happens when I hit the auto color correct. Now the second way that you can do this is if you're working in a RAW format, B-RAW, ProRes RAW, you can apply what's called the DaVinci YRGB Color Managed, and that will take your footage from this to this. So in order to do this, click on the gear icon at the bottom right hand side of the screen when you have DaVinci Resolve open. That gear icon is going to open up your project settings. Go into color management. The first thing that you'll see is color science. Now there's a drop down where you can select DaVinci YRGB color managed. When you select that, any files that are in a raw format are going to have a color corrected base grade to it. Let's take a look at how you can do this from scratch and I'm gonna make this really easy for you as well. We're gonna keep the node simple, we're gonna keep the process simple, so that if you're brand new to this, it's just an easy way to get a similar look using the color wheels. So now that we're in the color page, there's a couple things we're gonna pay attention to. And number one is going to be the scopes on the bottom right hand side of the screen. And I promised that I would keep this simple, so we're gonna do two to three nodes, depending on if you wanna push a certain look you'll notice that there's already one node in place. Now to add another node, just right click on it and do add serial node. And then here are the keyboard shortcuts for the Mac and PC, create two more. And we wanna label the nodes. So the first node, we'll right click again, add label, and we're gonna call that exposure or EXP if you wanna keep it short. The second node, we're gonna call color. And the third node, we're gonna call LUT. So in the first node, let's work with our exposure. So to work with the exposure, we wanna go into the primary color wheels. Lift gamma gain equals shadows, midtones, and highlights. In the scopes, you wanna select waveform. The goal for this is to pull the shadows down, lift the highlights up, and get the midtone balanced somewhere in the middle. And if you're looking at the waveform, so anything above 1023 for your highlights is going to be too bright. Anything below zero in your shadows is going to be too dark. If you were to lift those shadows above that, you would get a very soft contrast image. Now the same with the highlights. We want to bring those up using the gain to get the highest part of the image touching at 1023. And then for the midtone, well, you want to place it somewhere in the middle. And this is where I use my eyes. Just make sure that the midtones aren't down too low or up too high. If you wanted to do anything with the contrast, then scroll the contrast back and forth and also pay attention to the waveform and see what the information on those scopes are doing as you're pulling the contrast to the left and right. The last thing that I'd like to do in this first node is go into the mid detail and depending on your camera, I might bring the mid detail up a little bit. If you don't like that super sharp look, it's fine, you can leave it where it is. That's it for our first node. Let's move on to the second node for our color. There's something important to realize before we even start adjusting the color and that is to make sure that your image is white balanced properly. There's two ways to do this. The first way I'm not a fan of, but let me show it to you anyway. Remember that eyedropper from earlier? That's to the right of the auto color correct. That you can use as a white balance tool just by hovering over a white part of the image and clicking on it. It's not always perfect. It's primarily used when you're using a white balance card, such as something like this. The easiest way to fix the white balance if you're not shooting in RAW is to open up the vector scope, go into the offset wheel, and try to drag the bulk of the information towards the center. Here's an example of an image that wasn't properly white balanced. You can see where the shift is. If I drag that towards the center, it becomes more of a balanced image. 
by dragging it in different directions, I can warm up or cool down the image. But let's start with getting it balanced first. The next step is to go to where it says saturation and just push that up a little bit. If you want to add a look, that's where the third note comes in. What I like about DaVinci Resolve is as you hover over one of the LUTs while you're on your clip, it will show you what that LUT is going to look like. What I typically do with LUTs is scale back the intensity because I like I might like the look of the LUT, but it's a little too much. You can double click the LUT while you're on your third node. That will add the LUT to your image. Go down here, the key, key output where the gain is and scale that back. What's great about these notes is you can turn each one on and off to see what you've done. So once I've applied a grade, I'll turn them all off individually. Then I'll start with number one, turn that on. How do I like my exposure? Then I'll go to number two, turn that on. How do I like the color balance that I did in the saturation? Number three, for the look or the LUT. With separate nodes, you're able to go back there and fix something within that node without ruining the other work that you did. There are many other ways to do color grading in DaVinci Resolve. If you followed any colorists on YouTube, you'll see they have a crazy node tree going on. And for good reason, they're doing a lot of work. They're putting the extra steps in to make a really good image. They're creating a specific look for their footage. And what I'm showing you here is just a simple way to get log footage to look normal and to give you the option to add a look. I think once you learn this, it's easy to push that further and to delve into adding more nodes and then adding parallel nodes and seeing what those things do and color masks and the slice tool and the film looks. There's a lot that you can do, but this is a good place for you to start. So hopefully this information helps you. If you've done this before, I'd like to know what, what methods do you use? Is there something that you find that's easy just to get a base grade going? Thank you so much for watching everybody. Take care of yourself. Peace.